from the voice of Honest Trailers, it's Epic Voice Reviews, and read your comments at the end. Ripped. From the director who made Star Trek suck a lot less and the studio that owns the galaxy, comes a reintroduction to the universe of Star Wars. Lightsabers and the Force are still cool, and the bad guys are all still British. The unexpected reveals will leave you saying, wow, they did a great job redirecting us in the trailers, blows the prequels away with amazing action and effects. But for all the talk about practical effects, there were still some main characters that were like prequel level CG. In fact, it almost felt like they forced extra practical effects characters as if to say, see, here's a bunch of uh, non-CG characters, as we promised. Still not an improvement of the original trilogy, because let's face it, they were just so darn great. It's a meeting of new and nostalgia, and what is a really cool and fun take on the story. You got new Han Solo, Poe, who is my new favorite character, by the way. My only complaint about him is that there just wasn't enough of him in this movie. You got new Vader, who's basically another bad guy in black with a deep voice and a helmet that he should never, ever take off. Just trust me. It all felt very familiar, but I'm okay with that. Five stars anyway, because I still watched it a dozen times. If it weren't for sound effects, music, special effects, rewatchability, and memorable characters, much like Jurassic World and Fury Road, here are the issues that would have made me rate it lower. Number one, Deja Vu. It's pretty much a New Hope rebooted. Number two, they played it safe. This was not the game changer that the first film was. Number three, where are all the older people in this movie? I mean, there's nobody over 40. I counted four characters that are not CG that were over the age of 40. Did they did they euthanize all the people <laughs> over like 20s uh, between the last movie and this one? Number four, Captain Phasma literally does nothing in this film except for look cool. Number five, what I said before about the CG characters. These, however, are all just nitpicks, and I still think fans will absolutely love this film. Another thing I loved was seeing actors in the credits that I knew, like Tom Kane, James Arnold Taylor, and Dee Bradley Baker from Star Wars, plus uh, my friend Kat Sheridan, Fred Tattashore, and Kevin Smith, what? Imperfect, but really, really great theatrical film. It joins the ranks of the current trend of rebootquels like Mad Max Fury Road and Jurassic World, half sequel and half New Hope reboot, Star Wars The Next Generation, aka The Force Awakens, rated PG-13. But only for mild violence, because let's face it, this movie is pretty much safe for any kid over the age of eight. Get your epic rip shirts by clicking the link in the description below. And now it's time for your comments. Commander, I know you're in charge, but you probably shouldn't jet ram the Avenger. Such a lust for revenge. Who? Bubbles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. If my wife were a transformer, her name would be Amazon Prime. Change? You got change? Aw, oh, come on. Help an epic voice out, will you? Sheldon, would you be prepared on a non-presidential basis to create an emergency ad hoc slurpy IC equivalency? If you like this video, share it and click subscribe. Click here for more epic voice reviews. Click here for more imitation gaming videos.